What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bruce, this is What's Popping, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing what I think could be the best Funko Pop of 2020, at least so far, and then we're going to be announcing a 540 subscriber giveaway. Alright guys, I'm holding in my hands, right here, just off screen, right below here, what I think is the best Funko Pop of 2020 so far, and possibly going to be the best Funko Pop of the year, just outright. I don't know what Funko I have planned, I've seen all the SDCC exclusives they've been releasing, there's been some pretty, pretty cool stuff, um, but nothing I've actually ordered. Uh, I haven't ordered with anybody locally uh, to get hold of some SDCC stuff, so I don't know what else Funko have planned for us this year, but what I have right here, you've already seen from the thumbnail by now, but so you know what I'm going to be looking at. But um, I think that this is going to be one of the best pops of the year, uh, and it's a contender for probably one of the best movie moments that Funko have made uh, just out there as a whole. Do hang on to the end of the video, guys, because as I said in the beginning, we will be announcing our 550 subscriber giveaway right here on the channel. I'll do it at the end of the video. So hang around for that, and uh, we'll get into it. But guys, let's get straight into this. We have Harry versus Voldemort, the movie moment. Now, guys, this is just an epic piece. I'm going to quickly show the box off to you. I got this over at Pop Life. Now, guys, you know Pop Life. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a minute, you'll know that uh, we have opened quite a lot of stuff from Pop Life. So this is something I got from Ibi over at Pop Life. Um, if you want to see some of the previous stuff I've got from them, I've opened mystery boxes, we've unboxed loads of stuff from them. I'll leave links up here, you can go check it out. And I'll leave a link to the description for their website. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out. But guys, let's get this thing out of the box and have a look at why I think this is the best pop of the year so far. So if we have a look at this up close, guys, just take a moment to absorb the amount of detail that they've packed into this. This is, of course, Harry versus Voldemort. And I think, let's go into my first point about why this is probably one of the best movie moment pops that are made, is just because of the iconic moment that we are dealing with here. This is the first time, firstly, that we saw Voldemort in the flesh. Uh, we do see him, we do see a shadow of him in, in the Philosopher's Stone. We see him killing Lily. Uh, and then we see his face, of course, at the end of the movie. But this is the first time we see him in the flesh, in his full body, back to his strength. So obviously not at full strength, he's still getting to know his new body, he's still figuring stuff out. But we see him in the flesh for the first time with the flaring nostrils, the snake-like nostrils. And we see him taking on Harry for the first time, you know. First time that we see these two in combat, and the first time that we see their ones connecting. Which is just something that is, is really built up throughout the series and becomes really super important for, you know, um, the direction that the series eventually goes and how it concludes. But here we have Harry versus Voldemort in the graveyard going at it. Harry casting Expelliarmus, Voldemort ca casting Avada Kedavra. And I don't know where to start with this figure guys. The, the detail they've packed in here just in terms of movie accuracy, I think that is the most important thing they've done here. Is the posing of these characters is exactly as we see them in the movie when they're fighting each other. Voldemort with his hands sort of held as he's sort of pushing his energy and all of his might into the spell that he's casting. Harry holding up as best he can on the other end. And it's just, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but the way that they've managed to put these two figures together and face them off is, it just instantly brought me back to that scene. Just the way their bodies are actually sort of maneuvered and the way they've contorted Voldemort's hand, his back, his spine, the way they've pushed him into the pose. And the same with Harry, this is iconic. You, you, you will look at this and you will know exactly which part of the scene I'm talking about. That's it 100%. Um, there they are going at it exactly pose for pose as they are in the film. We have a couple of gravestones in the background which is some cool extra detail. But what is really awesome about this figure is the way that they've done the connection of the ones in the middle. Now I think that little explosion where we see the red meeting the green is superbly well done. The detailing on that is incredible and I love the way that the paint has gone from the, the, the luminescent mold of the, of the end of the spell has gone into the green or the red paint depending on which side you're looking at. And then it sort of splashed out into the Priory and Cantatum that the, the two characters are locked in. So that to me is, is epic. The wand detail, particularly for Voldemort, I mean, through the, the first, uh, through the first uh, 
six, seven movies, Harry's got the same wand, and it's uh, it's it's a pretty standard wand. I mean, we know what it's made of, but it's it's pretty stock standard in terms of of its uh, of its appearance, or at least the way you could do it in the pop form, with the with the main detail of the wand being on the grip. So that is of course covered by Harry's hand, but Voldemort's wand is exceptionally well detailed. I mean, they've gone into some of the little divots and the little. Um, dimpling on the edge of his wand as you come down towards the handle or the grip and then going down that handle there is that they've got that bone uh, handle that he has for his wand which is of course iconic Voldemort and that is something that they've done incredibly well the way they've done Voldemort's robes you can see that they're flowing if you look over at Harry he's got the Hogwarts insignia on his trial wizard outfit he's got his name on the back both done super clear they stand out incredibly well um, the only thing the only only thing and I will not criticize this figure because as I said it is the best in my opinion the best figure of 2020 the only thing that they could have done a little bit further was they've gone far enough as to cut Harry's sleeve which they sh which you can see clearly there on the figure they've cut his sleeve um, of course where the blood is taken by by Wormtail to go into the resurrection of Voldemort but they did not they could have put a line of red paint there along his sleeve to show where he had been cut and where the where the blood had, where the blood had been taken from that is the only thing i think they could have possibly added to this figure to make it any better otherwise this is to me that iconic scene in a figure beautifully done as far as movie moments go it captures the drama of the scene it captures the action that it goes through and it actually feels like there's a lot of suspense in this in this figure as the two are in essence dueling for their lives that about does it for today's video guys but before you go before you go i did promise at the beginning of the video that i would be announcing our 550 subscriber giveaway and that is right guys when we hit 550 subscribers right here on what's popping we're going to be giving away a nebula funko pop so we have nebula from guardians of the galaxy volume 2 we're going to be giving away this girl right here when we hit 550 subscribers on the channel so if you want to enter the giveaway guys there's three things you got to do first things first we're going to follow all the youtube cliches so you got to like the video subscribe to the channel and then comment down below in this video with what your favorite punko pop of 2020 has been or will be what has been announced that you cannot wait to get your hands on and it's going to be your pop of the year i cannot wait to hear from all of you guys at this stage i think we're about 26 subscribers away from 550 so hopefully we can get there really soon give this nebula away and start on the road to 600 subscribers guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you who takes the time to watch my videos to interact with me in the comment section to follow me on instagram you guys do all those amazing things and i appreciate all of you endlessly for it i cannot wait to see all of you guys in the next video until then cheers